Hi, I'm Katie Pushpam. And welcome to Theatre Bound, a channel dedicated to all things theatre. And for this video, I'm going to tell you the seven stages of working in theatre land or the theatre industry. This applies to any profession within the theatre industry. When you start out working in the theatre industry, you're so full of enthusiasm, optimism, naivety. So here are the seven stages of working within the theatre industry, just so you know both the beauty and the reality of working within the theatre industry. Here we go. Stage one, enthusiasm. When you first start working in theatre land, you're so full of enthusiasm. Everything seems so beautiful about the theatre industry. It's not just a job, it's your vocation. So much so, when you wake up in the morning, you wake up smiling, even for an early get-in. You're just so excited to see how the new theatre production you're working in is gonna come together. It's so amazing. <gasps> Time for work. Ready. Stage two, bewilderment. As the days start to grow longer, so does your workload, which doesn't exactly translate to your bank account. This in itself induces bewilderment, but not just the money, the people too. People you thought would be great to go get a cup of coffee with, now would look better in a straitjacket. Confusing and surprising all at the same time. The rose tinted glasses appear to be slowly falling off your face at this point. I always see Paul working so hard. He's so passionate about being a lighting technician. You just always see him working on his laptop. I wonder what he's up to. Hey Paul, how's it going? Looking at this corgi's butt. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> cool. Paul's weird. Stage three, aggravation. As bewilderment, passes and the rose tinted glasses have abruptly fallen onto the ground, aggravation kicks in big time. Things you previously thought were sweet and funny now just really annoy you. Like talking with Linda about upcoming shows. But Linda, she's seen every show, but in your head you're going, Linda seen every show. It just happens, it just annoys you now. Instead of getting information from Linda, you just want to hit her. That joke you shared with Terry about going dark, it's just annoying, it's not even that funny. And hearing for the millionth time that day David's gonna be on Game of Thrones. Yeah, David, you're in it for like 50 seconds and then you're brutally murdered. Get over it. Everything just really annoys you. Did you see that new show, Once Is Out? It looks pretty good, I might go see it. Oh, I saw it the other night, it was amazing. Cool. If you're going, make sure you book seats in the middle, it's the best spot. Right. If you want, I can get you a discount on your ticket. I know my friend works in the box office. Of course you can. The show, it was, it was unreal. You just, you must go see it. Yeah. Oh look, I just found a spare ticket in my wallet. Do you want it? Just stop, Linda. You are being so annoying. Sorry. Stage four, love. You're back on the love train. Everything about theatre seems a bit more beautiful again. The production is going well. There's been a few hiccups, but hey, it's theatre. It's bound to happen. That's why you love it. That's why you love theatre. It's exciting, unpredictable and creative. You grab your coffee and you grab a minute to just admire the art craft of theatre by staring at the beautiful stage. Sure, what else would you be doing with your life? Why are you so mean to me sometimes? You need to show me that you're committed to me like I'm committed to you. You got me presents, a notebook, and a cat with butt knife. <laughs> you know me so well. Okay, let's do this. I love you too. Come here. Stage five. Pessimism. When you soon find out the Arts Council are going to be cutting even more funding for next year, it stops your love train right in its tracks. And now you kind of look at everything as the glass 
half empty. Or if it's an alcoholic drink, it's because one of the performers drank half of it. All the great aspects of theater, they just feel like warning signs to future mistakes and catastrophes. This stage, it may last a while for a few people, or if you're a director a really long time. These jobs, they'll be so easy to do today. Nothing can go wrong. Maybe I'll go do some filing first. Yeah, filing's a safe job to do, or is it? Stage six, self-loathing. When pessimism starts to subside, it doesn't really subside, but then comes back and then filters inwards. Anything you do now, you just feel like crap. All you think is, this is all my fault. Why can I have just picked a steady job, a steady boring job, and went to business school? This stage, because you just checked your bank account again. You don't have a lot of money. So instead, you just sit in the corner, slowly nursing a drink. It's not an alcoholic drink, it's just like a tea. You can't afford that, it's a tea. Don't worry, the stage will pass. To make this stage go faster, just look up videos of puppies. It cures everything. I can't do anything right. <laughs> I don't wanna go into work today. Maybe I could bring in this blanket. Yeah. Work with blankets. What? I can't even walk without falling. Maybe I can work as a caterpillar. <laughs> Stage seven, break a leg. You are working away and then that random quote comes into your head, but you can't really remember who it came from, but it sounds cool. And it goes like, that's show business, kid. I can't remember who it's from, someone. But in your head, you pretend it was Betty Davis because she's really cool. She was really successful in her career. She'd definitely be talking to you. The theater industry can be a bit grueling sometimes, to say the least. But just remind yourself, you don't have to absorb all of it in. You love theater. You're gonna make it work in the end. It's just gonna take a lot of hard work. Theater, it's about taking it in your own strides, finding your own rhythm. Don't worry, it gets easier. A little bit, just a little bit easier. But you'll get there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching these images and sounds. If you like this video, why not give it a like? or a comment, I'd love to hear from you. What stages have you encountered? Do you have any tips how to get over these stages? Cause let's be real, we're all gonna encounter these stages, unfortunately. There's probably more to add as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload two videos a week, which are full of alternative theater information and alternative theater making weekly. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. It is so hot today. I'm sweating. Wear light. Are you for real? Like halfway through, you had to switch yourself off.